hey guys welcome back so in this video we are going to see how to set the nav item to active in our Django e-commerce navbar so previously we had made that wish list so now you can see over here you have these three things as active as static so irrespective of what page we are on these things are active over here because that is hard coded in the navbar's code so just go over here and see near inc navbar.html just close this and you can see here we have active 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 so we don't want this to be this way instead according to this page so if it is on the current url only then that thing should be active so we are going to do that now so type uh, if condition or here so if i have request dot resolver underscore match dot url underscore name is equal to your path name so which you have given it over here so just copy this thing and paste it over here and in between this we need to put the active so if the current url is equal to the home then we are going to echo active over here so let us just test this now so we'll go to the browser and refresh so you can see none of the nav items are active now so we have set for the home one right so now we are on the collections so we'll click on the home and now you can see this thing is slightly bolder than the other ones because it's on the home path so similarly we'll just copy and paste for all these items i'll just copy from here copy and inside the class just paste that and change the name now from a home to collections yes and then copy this same thing and paste it over here and again over here scroll and copy this wish list paste copy and paste yes save and refresh we'll go to collections go to cart go to wish list so everything it is staying active so to highlight this we'll just change the color of that active so go to your static folder and we haven't created css for now we'll just do it in the main file itself so in your layouts main.html we have the style tag over here we'll just put it over here itself dot active let's set the background color to blue or we'll just make the text a bit more bolder let's say font weight let's say 800 save and let us check the output refresh okay so now it is easily differentiable so you can differentiate which is active and which is not so that's it in this video guys we have seen how to set the nav item to active in our django e-commerce so thank you for watching this video guys please like the video and subscribe to the channel thank you